Okay. <clears throat> that is looking really cool, I gotta say. Um, I'll be talking about some, um, you know, posing and post to pose and general timing, but this, so good. I love it. That's cool. A bigger note there. <clears throat> and then, yes, you mentioned uh, everything after 350, which is right around here. But to me, it even feels like around, around here, it's still a bit <clears throat> a bit rough. It feels too light. There's a lot of um, a lot of effort going into there. And I'm going to send you uh, potentially a separate reference clip <clears throat> just for ideas. But for the beginning, I think this is cool. My only... Um, note for this would be as you continue on um, to get this out of the pose to pose it feels like you're having pose pose which kind of works for this I mean, you can argue that you know he's just getting ready but it's like you hit this pose and then the head turns while all arms move at the same time and they stop at the same time you can start offsetting where he might do this first like you might start around here turning his head first then getting his arms into there for this, it's not so post to post and so separate. It's a bit more organic and more natural. Um, same thing when he goes out here. He starts that step at the same time as um, that arm goes down. You know what I mean? Like this goes up. So it will be leaving this arm, having this go down first, and then starting the step to go forward. And watch out, you're taking um, it's quite a distance here. And then it suddenly stops and goes down. So I'll probably slow that down just a tad. If you watch this here, <clears throat> it's a bit fast and it feels like you're going, like you're starting and then immediately dropping uh, arc wise. It doesn't feel like he's getting there, stopping, going back, and then going down. If you kind of track his arc, uh, his route, because it feels a bit too abrupt there. Same thing here. So you get to that point, which is cool. Just watch out. You know, you got intersections you want to make. You don't want it to be just coming down and then fingers around it. You want. Um, the front view of your <clears throat> uh, what's the word let me see so you got that guy here so I'll adjust something here <clears throat> and imagine well it's actually bad bad thing here you, <laughs> this will be the behind the thing so right now it feels like your hand comes in and then you, your your fingers just kind of go around it think of it of um, your hand coming in like that far away like that's his arm that's his hand my blobby drawings are his hands, is his hand. So that far away and a bit lower, and then you get to a point where the hand grips. And then like like the palm of the hand gets on this first. And then the fingers get around and curl and uh, hold on and, and grab that guy. <clears throat> then same thing here, like I said, like he grabs, oops, he grabs the guy. And then like his head goes up and, the, and his butt goes up and everything kind of stops at the same time. So it's the idea is there, but to me it feels like you want to go with the chest first, or maybe even with the head lead there and then there, and then go up with the roots. And then that doesn't work, and he's kind of stretching his, his arm a bit more. He got the shoulder a bit lower, and then he looks around. But same thing here, like you have the root go up and the head look at on the left side. And stop at the same time. So just you know, offsetting everything. It's kind of the note for everything. Then same thing here. I, although I do love this here. This is funny. I love this here. Cool grab, grab that. That's cool too. Watch out. Your elbows are kind of poppy as they go from straight to bent. Right there. Especially this guy here. So watch out how you get in and out of that. You might have to adjust um, shoulders, maybe a bit of the chest to kind of smooth out that transition. But that's all cool. Oh, this is so cool. Love that. Oh, boom. So good. I love it. That has so much weight. Gets ready. Oh, so the only thing here would be goes back. And again, it feels like your root goes down and this goes back at the same time. Think about what would you do here first? You'll probably head back, then chest, then root down into this. And it's going to be awesome when you have the face going ah, like a big, big teeth and jaw forward. Boom. Love this. This is so good. Right? Brings it up. Because watch out your arc. Let's see if I can track this here. <clears throat> I got my uh, fancy tool, which might not work with this clip. Oh, it does. All right. Can I draw? I can. All right. It's a funny tool that I have. 
So we're watching arcs and spacing. So you're going to have, um, let's go back here, guys here, and then it's a bit messy here, here, and then you got that guy here, and then here. Yeah, my tool is not the best. I got to rethink most those tools here. <clears throat> so if I'm sloppily tracking what you have here and you go down uh, in New York will be here if I'm exaggerating if I'm blowing this up right so looking at this closer it feels like you're going uh, it's good like you're going big 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 and then suddenly the spacing is very small and then very straight as opposed to an arc where it's a bit more like that you don't want to just finish down you want to complete that that momentum over there same with the spacing you want to start somewhere right go up and then it might slow down a bit because of hang time reasons and then it comes back down you know it's kind of like a bouncing ball type of arc thing that's going on there but i love how it hits him goes down that's great now he's really really far back which is fine but just boom now you're gonna have to like around here take this guy right and then as he goes back to me that foot needs to be here full on foot roll uh more like that like he's really really taking massive steps steps back even this guy uh would be further back with this guy than here i mean staying here you want to get to a point where the weight imagine the weight here right and it's really pulling that guy over going this way but um Imagine you got, you can stay with this, stay with that, and imagine the right leg will be here, and then the other guy will be here, to a point where the body's here and the and the legs are almost over there. You know what I mean? Like the weight is here and it's all pushing this way, but if you just look at the frame, it feels like he will be off balance this way, but he would need it to be like that so he can push against that um, that hammer falling down, right? Because right now you do this and takes a couple steps and he's kind of readjusting himself without ever like that's your 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 my sloppy um <clears throat> center of gravity and you never really over go over here so you want to have something where the legs really are on this side pushing and that the the weight of that um hammer back over there and then once you get to there like that is not enough like this would be at the very end and then you get in there and look at this. It feels like here you're still leaning this way. Even here, it feels like you're, you're borderline over there. And at this point, I feel like if you have this guy, you want him to lean just a tad more for, uh, forward with the um, his legs more like that. And then his weight will be around. The weight of the, the hammer will be here. Like he has a, an overall feel of leaning forward as he brings that guy over there. And then watch out, that drop is a bit fast. Like, it feels like he's really losing control there. So I will probably ease into that more. Like make it a bit slower. That's a fast transition. You know, imagine like he has to kind of. That's the the back view. He's here, and it feels like the hammer is on this side, right? Imagine he has to take the root and the chest and curve it to his left. So this comes towards us, basically, right? And that way he can bring up that hammer up a bit and then down and then careful here you got this bend in your wrist just a little technical thing here um so let me see if i can uh that's not set up there <clears throat> where your wrist will be more like this where um let me see what i can do here take this out your wrist will be more aligned this way with the forearm, you know, like you got you got your upper arm and you got your forearm and then your wrist comes down. You want the upper arm and then you got your forearm, but then the wrist is aligned with the forearm just enough. And then you can bend the fingers back a bit. Um, so it, it doesn't feel like it's this broken, broken wrist there. And then, as I mentioned, yeah, this is too, too fast. It's another like really heavy, heavy thing. And imagine like weightlifters who... Like the, he might throw his back up and shoulders and everything to really lift his thing up. And then 
he will bring himself down like when this is up he might go lower with the root just to kind of make making sure that he can lift this and prop this up and then go back and then the rest is rough all right i hope that made sense um and if not let me know thanks all right there's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.